This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday evening, the 3rd of October. I'm James Spann, eyes on Tropical Storm Karen. How will that impact the state this weekend? A lot of questions. We'll see if we can answer all of them right here. Let's begin with some Skycam shots. We'll look out the window. With the SkyCam network, that's the uh, trustful SkyCam. The sky there mostly cloudy, but showers have been very hard to find across the state today, as expected. That's coming from Sheehaw State Park in East Alabama, a partly sunny sky there. And the Alabama Gulf Coast, that'll be a camera to watch. Our Gulf Shore SkyCam on top of the Phoenix All Suites, where uh, Tropical Storm Karen will be making landfall during the day Saturday or Saturday night. Uh, they've got some showers and storms around there today, but it's fairly scattered, but conditions will deteriorate on Saturday. Not exactly a great weekend for a beach trip. In fact, uh, uh, rip currents, heavy rain, flooding potential. Saturday looks to be a nasty day with conditions gradually improving down there Sunday. Well, there's the setup. Things evolving as expected. Big trough in the western states. That'll produce a major early season snow for parts of the uh, northern U.S. And the tropical system down there in the southern Gulf, the trough will pull that thing north up this way. Temperature is not as warm as forecast. You know, the, the GFS moss would, would make you think we ought to be close to 90, but of course that's not happening. We're in the upper 70s and low 80s. Uh, that model has had a warm bias all year long. It's only 79 in Birmingham. There's a watch warning map. We've got a lot of winter storm warnings up for parts of Wyoming, Montana, over into Nebraska, South Dakota. And, of course, what you see down there in the Gulf Coast, that's the uh, hurricane watch. Uh, in effect, from Grand Isle, Louisiana, over to near Apalachicola, Florida. In terms of severe weather, with that mid-latitude system, there's a slight risk of severe weather uh, later today and tonight for parts of Nebraska and Iowa. Hey, look at that, a moderate risk. How about that fall tornado season? Uh, moderate risk up for parts of Minnesota and Iowa. The slight risk surrounding that runs from Oklahoma back up into Minnesota and Wisconsin. Higher severe weather possibilities are clustered within the moderate risk area. It's a 45% chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point. That's pretty significant. And look at that on the Gulf Coast. Uh, they've raised the 5% probabilities for tomorrow night in advance of Karen along the Gulf Coast, uh, southeast Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. And then on day three, which is Saturday, low end 5% severe weather possibilities well to the north of here, Chicago, Milwaukee, uh, and again, uh, I don't think we'll have a problem with inland tornadoes with Karen up here, but we'll talk about that as we go. Here's the uh, rain for the next five days. And again, this carries us through Tuesday of next week. The bullseye 7.1 inches around the mouth of the Mississippi River, around Buras, Louisiana. Uh, the amounts up this way are suggesting rain amounts of uh, one and a half to two inches. And again, that's up for debate. It, it is very hard with the uh, this kind of tropical system trying to forecast the axis of the heavier rain. I still think the greatest uh, rain could be east and south of here and probably will be. But again, that is still up for debate. There's the big picture in the tropics. Jerry is fizzling out in the middle of nowhere. Karen is the new storm on the board. Uh, Karen, as of uh, late morning, was packing sustained winds at 65 miles an hour. Uh, it's not looking very healthy. It's got some problems. We, we, I don't think this reaches hurricane strength for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's encountering drier air, some of the dry air wrapping in the circulation. Number two, it's going to be encountering cooler sea surface temperatures, ocean water. And uh, number three, shear will be increasing as the thing gets closer to the coast with the approaching trough. So, you know, this thing is not going to be some monstrous hurricane. In fact, it, it should not be a hurricane. I, I fully expect it to be a tropical storm. And I would imagine the Hurricane Center will lower that hurricane watch to a tropical storm warning uh, tomorrow. Uh, the modeling pretty tightly clustered now. Uh, this thing coming up uh, toward... Uh, uh, the Alabama Gulf Coast to the western tip of the Florida Panhandle. And really with a tropical storm, the center line is not that critical. But still, it is of note in that the worst weather should be along and east of the point of landfall. That's the onshore flow zone. Uh, the intensity models, uh, you got a few that try and bring it up to a hurricane, but most of them keep it as a tropical storm. And then, of course, you got weakening once the thing moves inland after 72 hours. Uh, here's the official track from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, this is the 1 o'clock track. They uh, bring it up as a tropical storm coming in around Orange Beach, uh, Pensacola, uh, late Saturday night. It curves up through southeast Alabama. And again, on that track, that would suggest the heaviest rain would be south and east of here. And uh, this map pretty much agrees with that. This is from the WPC, the uh, Weather Prediction Center. This is the uh, heavy rain forecast from Karen. Uh, the purple colors, that's rain amounts of 2 to 4 inches. And the heavier rain in Alabama should be south of a line from uh, around Chatham in Washington County to near Montgomery and Roanoke. 
Uh, the red colors, that would be 4 to 6 inches. And the bright red, that's 6 to 10 inches. Uh, uh, Pensacola and Navarre Beach, that's in that 6 to 10 inch zone. That might be a little aggressive for this thing. Uh, but the 4 to 6 inches, we could see some folks down there with totals like that. The 4 to 6 inch zone would include Mobile and Baldwin counties up into uh, parts of south central Alabama around uh, Geneva, Andalusia, Op, and Atmore. But up this way, the amount should be much lighter. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, probably one inch or less. All right, let's dive into modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon. I'm sorry, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And this is where the pressure is 500 millibars, about 18 to 20,000 feet up. Big trough in the west. That's going to kick up a big snowstorm out there and maybe some severe weather. And down below that, you can see Karen in the Gulf. And, man, that is a mean-looking map right there. That's, that's a weather smorgasbord. Uh, you got that deep surface low on the Kansas-Nebraska border. That could be a blizzard for parts of Wyoming. Uh, severe weather possibly in advance of that in the warm sector for parts of Minnesota and Iowa. And then you got the tropical system coming up from the south. But around here tomorrow like today, kind of a mix of sun and clouds, low to mid-80s. The chance of rain is not zero, but showers should be pretty widely spaced. Most places dry. All right, this is Saturday at 1 o'clock. Uh, deep surface low near Minneapolis-St. Paul. Uh, tropical storm Karen uh, approaching the mouth of the Mississippi River. And if you buy this, Alabama is dry. Now, I'm saying I'm not saying that there's no chance of rain Saturday, but during the day, any shower should be very widely spaced, a lot like today, which bodes well for anything you got planned outdoors. Uh, football, arts and crafts for the Alabama game. That's an 11-21 kickoff. I think uh, they'll be mostly dry with only a slight chance of a shower. The Auburn game is the more difficult forecast. Let's go to the high-res NAM. Uh, this is valid Saturday at 1 o'clock, same time frame. Uh, the NAM has the leading edge of the rain shield from Karen uh, coming up into Mobile and Baldwin counties, but most of the state is dry early Saturday afternoon. So a, a reasonable chance the bulk of the day Saturday will be dry. This is Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. And uh, again, we've got the cold front coming in from the west, Karen coming up from the south, leading edge of the rain uh, roughly along US 82. Uh, if this is correct, uh, Auburn would get in that game just maybe, just maybe without rain. Uh, there's a real chance of that. Uh, I'd kind of lean that way in the forecast. I think we'll mention, uh, uh, for now, just an outside chance of some rain, mainly in the second half. The big soaking rain's coming in after the game is over, and that's good news. Uh, this is the RPM, valid at 7 o'clock Saturday evening. It's kind of an outlier. It's got uh, Karen still way south of here. I think it'll be closer to the coast by then. But still, the model has most of Alabama dry Saturday evening. So that bodes well for the Auburn game. And again, I'm not saying there's no chance of rain. I wouldn't dare do that with this system or this setup. But I think there's a good chance the big rains come into Auburn, Opelika, after the game is over Saturday evening at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Uh, this is Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock off the GFS. It's got the uh, uh, tropical system, Karen, just below Dothan, cold front coming in. Uh, again, you can see that would suggest the heavier rains over east Alabama. The NAM, this is Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock, and it's got the uh, broad surface load that would be Karen uh, farther west. And that would be a pretty good uh, rain for a pretty good chunk of the state Sunday. Sunday should be a wet day statewide. I still think the really heavy rains from Karen will be south and east of here. Uh, here's a look at some of the rain uh, guidance coming in off the NAM, and it's got a little strip of uh, one to two inches over parts of North Alabama, the really big rains down in Mobile and Baldwin counties. Uh, but uh, clearly Sunday will be a wet, wet day, periods of rain, temperatures in the 70s all day, and again, I think the heaviest rain probably just south and east of here. But I would say that's probably the toughest part of the forecast is trying to figure out the axis of the heavier rain. These tropical storms all are different in structure. We we'll just need to see what it looks like coming in. Uh, all right, Monday looks good. Everything out of here, cooler, drier. That'll be refreshing. Highs go in the 70s, and Tuesday will be delightful. I think we start the day down in the upper 40s, the high in the 70s, low humidity, gorgeous fall weather. Uh, same thing Wednesday and a week from today. Just beautiful. Next week looks absolutely delightful, cool, crisp, just what you like to see in fall. We'll check the end of the forecast, October 19th. Westerlies are uh, pretty active just north of here. It's surface boundary north of us. A little tropical feature down to the south, but uh, look at the cold air over much of Canada. Man, that is cold looking. That's a sign of the times. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening or our live stream uh, on the television side either way on 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.